the seventh from Woodbine, 2003 Breeders' Crown Final, Mare's Pace. And they're off, and it's Eternal Camnation on the inside, Bunny Lake and Worldly Beauty. Which of these three, Bunny Lake, is fastest off the switch? And Worldly Beauty gets out in second, Eternal Camnation. The third one away in that first eighth of the mile, which could prove to be all important. Cam Swifty, then Molly can do it, and always Cam, sixth and last away. Bunny Lake with an explosive move, but here comes Eternal Camnation, not going to allow John Campbell to back it off. Eternal Camnation comes to call early on Bunny Lake. The opening quarter was 26 and 2. Eternal Camnation trying to circle third to first, and Eric Ledford moves her to the lead. Bunny Lake came back on a few steps, but now Eternal Camnation takes over. Eternal Camnation takes over from Bunny Lake, and Worldly Beauty is now relegated to third. Cam Swifty fourth. Then Molly can do it, and always Cam are lined up. Eternal Camnation had the bravado and the fortitude to go up and take over, but it's a pretty testy half of 54 and one. But Eternal Camnation is the leader on Bunny Lake, three eighths of the mile to go, and a compelling field of mares go at it onto the final turn in the 2003 Breeders' Crown Mares Pace. Rolling up on the outside is Molly Can Do It. She's at the flank of Worldly Beauty, then Cam Swifty and always Cam on the outside. They moved ahead stretch, Eternal Camnation. Bunny Lake is already looking back to the outside. Worldly Beauty right there, third, 123 and 4, 29 and 3, a moderate third. Bunny Lake back out for the stretch, and John Campbell has her retaking the lead. Eternal Cam Nation sprinting with all she's got. Always Cam blocked off at the inside. Eternal Cam Nation, Bunny Lake, Worldly Beauty, what a champion! A three time Breeders' Crown winner. Eternal Cam Nation is a battling back winner to go down in history in a very very elite group, a three-time crown champion for the world's richest female pacer of all time, and it doesn't get much better than that. All right, Eric Ledford has made his way back to Canadian soil, and he gets it done with the big mare, Eternal Cam Nation. Eric, you probably go to home and uh, dream about this mare at night. Yeah, I have uh, ever since she started her career, too. Uh, she's a dream come true for me. A tough mare. Uh, to say the least, that's an understatement. Top of the stretch, John, sat on your back every step of the way, more or less, uh, and his mare actually went about a neck or a half length by you. Did you know she had enough left to fight back and get it? Yeah, he actually got by me, but, uh, you know, this mare is so tough. Uh, you know, that just shows uh, the true champion that she is. She fall back to win. When she gives a horse an edge like that down the stretch, does she see it and fight back like that? Uh, she has before, yes. Uh, you know, there's been a couple of them that... Uh, it's got to her, and, uh, but uh, the more they look her in the eye, the more she fights. A lot of great memories, and I'm sure this is going to go down as one of the greatest four. Congratulations on the win. Yeah, thank you very much. Eric Ledford's going to go get his picture taken with the rest of the Eternal Cam Nation gang. Guys, a three-time Breeders' Crown winner is the greatest mare possibly in all of harness racing history, Eternal Cam Nation. Well, there she is, back in the Woodbine infield winner's circle. She has electrified us in Canada so often throughout her career, and she does it again tonight. It's Eternal Cam Nation, now a three-time Breeders' Crown champion. The Cam Fella Mare, now six years old from Cool World, owned by Eternal Cam Nation Stable of Haviland, Ohio. Was bred by Louis Arno of Hopewell, New Jersey, and Fred Hertrick III of Seaford, Delaware. Trained by Jeff Miller, and driven to victory by Eric Ledford. The victory will push her life's earnings to almost $3 million. And going into the race, she was already the world's richest female pacer in history and adds to that advantage tonight. Presenting the Breeders' Crown Hardware, Mr. Mike Kimmelman of the Executive Committee of the Hamiltonian Society and a principal of Blue Chip Farms. Along with the Racing Secretary for the Harness Division at Woodbine and Mohawk, Mr. Scott McKelvey.
in the print of the place position. Five Bunny Lake was second, two Kim Swifty was third.